First I'll start with a multiplexer that has an input of buses and the first thing I need to do is use the orthogonal bus tool. I'll start just by drawing a bus along the input lines and a bus directly to the data line. For some reason on my computer some of the text at the end is cut off but those are just brackets at the end there. Set the width to 4 as I have 4 inputs it will be a 4 to 1 multiplexer. Now I need to name these buses in order that they work properly and right now I'm just going to name them according to the name that they go into for the multiplexer. So to do this you can either just start typing and because this has two inputs it will be one dot dot zero close bracket. The other way to name the bus is right click go to properties and go to name. Now I will use the nets to draw from the inputs to attach the bus. Now each of these has to be labeled. So as this is my input for 0, when the multiplexer has inputs of 0, 0, I want this one to pass through. And for nets, you can only name it 1. Notice how I just have the number 0 and there is no dot dot. And I'll need to connect the output. Now that I have completed the completion and I only got warnings and everything passed and went through, I have set up a waveform simulation file as you can see, when the inputs are both zero, the clock signal should pass through. But when it is high, such as the signal B is high, every other input is low and therefore the output should be low. And now I'll just run a functional simulation. And the results are correct. When both of them are low, the clock signal passes through. However, when B is high, the output is low as all three others are low. And that is how you use the bus tool for that. Now, another way to use the bus tool is to clean up schematics. For example, here, if I have these three lines and going all over the place, it might be really messy and hard to read. So instead, what I can do is name this bus. name each line
I'll just skip this one for now. But then what I can do is say I need B and D for this AND gate. I'll just draw those two from there and then name them according to the names that they need to go to. So this has four, quote, inputs, but then these are going to be considered outputs. They're just being drawn from the same line. So I'll just name this one and then this one, if I name this This here would be, and now this is basically A and D going to this AND gate. And you can configure these however you want, and this makes it much easier to read the schematic in the long run rather than having wires going all over the place.